hello friend in this video we are going to see how to calculate the distribution factor for a joint so we take this simple type of example just for you guys to understand how to calculate distribution factor before calculating this you have to remember these two formula that is rotational stiffness rotational stiffness for the end is fixed or hinge it is i by l and it is 3, 3 by 4 i by l when the other end are roller okay now moving towards how to calculate the distribution factor for this beam okay so this is continuous beam show here now we are moving towards the calculation i just divide this whole in the table in the tabular form just because it is very simple to calculate in the tabulation form okay this is one column join this is a member this is rotational stiffness column this is some of the rotational stiffness column as i represent here and this is the distribution factor distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of rotational stiffness to the summation of rotational stiffness okay now let's moving towards how to calculate it just see the question here only two join join b and join c means join is nothing but the member or the point where the two beams or two columns are made so that's why this is join here beam a b and beam bc are made here that's why join and second join is c and the member connecting that joint is b2a and b2c here now here we are calculating the rotational stiffness as we see on the uppermost part that is for the when the end are hinged or fixed the rotational stiffness is i by l that is i by l and for the a support i is 2i represent here and l is 4 just by calculating this we get the 0.5 okay now for the beam bc it is i by l i value is i l value is 5 so we directly get 0 0.2 i here is the column is summation of these two summation of these two is 0 0.7 as we say earlier distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of rotational stiffness to the sum of the rotational stiffness at the joint here we directly calculate distribution factor for BA it is 0.5i upon this sum that is 0.7i by directly calculating this we get 0.714 this is the distribution factor for the beam BA now for the beam BC it is I by L as we calculated and how it gets it is distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of rotational steepness to the sum of the rotational steepness at the joint here yeah. rotational steepness is 2.2i and the sum of the rotational steepness is 0.7i by directly calculating this we get 0.286 it is the distribution factor for the beam bc now for the second joint second joint is c and the member meeting at that joint is b c b and c d these are the two members here are meeting at the joint C. Now just taking what we know that is when the end are hinge or face the rotational stiffness is I by L. So here for this beam uh, A, B, B is fixed and D is fixed that's why we have taken I by L here. I, I value for beam B C is I, L value is 5 we directly get 0 0.25, 0 0.2 I. And for the CD, I value is 3i and L value is 6. By calculating this, we get 0 0.5i. And in this column, we are calculating 0 0.7. So, distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of these two. So by calculating this in our calcite, that is 0 0.2 by 0 0.7 is 0 0.286. And the 0 0.5 by 0 0.7 is 0 0.74. It is as simple. It is very simple to calculate the distribution factor for a beam and also very simple when the any when this okay let's see if this this end is roller then the rotational sharpness for the beam bc is 3 by 4 i by r because we seen earlier this just use and remember these two formula if you use these two you are able to calculate the distribution factor for the any continuous beam okay thank you